Hello everyone, into this video I'm going to teach you how to use Tailwind CSS. We're going to install and set up Tailwind CSS for a regular HTML, CSS and JavaScript project for a React version. I'm going to do another video. Now, a couple of prerequisites, you will need Node.js installed. So you should go to nodejs.org. If you land on this page, if you don't have it already installed, then please check out my video before this. I just released a brand new video on how to install Node.js. If you want to check if you have Node.js, then you could just also, wait just a second. I will use Visual Studio Code. So my code editor is Visual Studio Code. So check out Visual Studio Code, go to code.visualstudio.com or just type into Google Visual Studio Code, not Visual Studio, but Visual Studio Code, the code editor that I'm using for this project. Then download it, install it. I also have a couple of videos on how to install Visual Studio Code. Check those one out, that one out. And I'm also going to leave everything that we have here in the video description below. So we're going to have uh, the video for Visual Studio Code, Node.js, and also the entire blog post for the code for this specific video. Now, if you want to check if you have Node.js installed, we're going to just do a quick, if you're on a Mac, CM, uh, if you're on a PC, I'm used to working on a Mac. CMD, this will open up a command prompt and just type in here, Node space dash v this is node.js version if if you have node.js it's going to spit out the version so hit enter and i'm currently on 20.11 and also npm dash v and this will show you 10.2 this is basically my version if you have something newer also if you have something old it's not a problem necessarily but i would recommend that you are on the current version of node.js okay let's close this one up now let's go back to tailwind so just Quick explanation, Tailwind is a utility first CSS framework, eh, yeah, <laughs> for rapidly building custom designs. Now it's a bit different from Bootstrap. This is a highly customizable framework and it doesn't have components or you can buy components if you wish so, but it's a low level CSS framework that gives you all of the building blocks you need to build uh, designs without any you know, optimization styles you have to find otherwise. So as you can see here, really, really low, low case stuff, padding eight, uh, rounded fall, uh, margin on the X axis, auto and so forth and so on. So in this tutorial, I'm going to just teach you how to install and set up a Tailwind CSS so you can start a building with it within a HTML environment. So HTML, CSS and JavaScript environment. But this will not work for React. I'm going to do a separate video for React. I'm going to show you how we can do that one. So first things first, check if you have Node.js. Let's, let's first of all create a folder. You can just call it code. I did call it code. I'm going to open it up uh, in my code editor or just drag and drop it within here. You see I have here a folder called code. Um, we're going to install here. Also, you can check here. So control and tilde. You're going to open up the terminal and you can type in here node-v. And it should spit up the version. Okay. So if you have Node installed, also you will need the terminal. So if you want to open the terminal, you can go up here, uh, here, terminal, new terminal, on control shift. I'm just using control tilde because it's the quickest one. Open, close, open, close. Okay. Two terminals open. So I'm going to close one up. Now we will need the terminal because we're going to use the terminal to do a couple of stuff. First things first, we are going to install Tailwind CSS. Now, by the way, uh, you will see a complete documentation on my blog post, but you can also go here to get started on the theme, on the main page. And let's drag it here to the side. So this should be here. You can copy the code. NPM, this is why you need Node.js. Just copy the code, paste it into terminal. So NPM installed dash D as a dependency, Tailwind CSS. Hit enter, and this will install Tailwind CSS. But before we do this, we should, yeah, this also works. It automatically created a package.json. Now, if it didn't do this for you, just type in npm and init. Okay, this would basically don't hit enter. If you already did this, uh, if you don't have a package.json, you could also style with npm init, and this will in package.json file for you. Okay, now after we have this installed, you should take a look here. Package.json, you have this little file right here, to the Tailwind version, but we still need to do this so npm init dash and y meaning yes to everything so let's do this little command and it's going to install all of the necessary dependencies that are needed for this project well not all of them but most of them because we also need 
in our npm package we're going to need this little script okay you can also type it in yourself but we will need the script later on so we have tailwind installed next up we need to create or create a tailwind css configuration file now in order to create the file we're going to go to the command down here and as you can see here mpx tailwind css init will be the command so type in npm tailwind css space init and this will initialize a configuration file for you i just mistyped it try this again so um, okay there we go tailwind.config.js file so let's open this up you can close up the package.json file basically here you're telling tailwind from where it should grab on to your html and javascript and so forth so on so down here you will see on our right side you will see how this should look like if it looks exactly as here then congratulations you just created the right file but as you can see you also need a path in the content telling it where the content is so let's copy this in it is just telling tailwind where to look for the source file i'm going to explain the source file just in a couple of seconds so let's first of all create this folder now right here within your main folder you're going to create a new folder we're going to call it src for source within our source file or source folder we're going to create a css file we're going to, you can call it whatever you want just re remember this is going to be the the css file that's going to pull the information and then we're going to create another css file where you're going to push the information into so i'm just going to call it style.css and within here we're going to copy in this three commands so at tailwind base at tailwind components and at tailwind utilities hit save don't forget to hit save also hit save here in your modules and you could just close this one up we're not going to do anything here anymore this is enough for now also the, these three files uh these three code lines are created it's going it's going to be yellow it's not going to be recognized no worry close it up that's all you're going to need for now for the css file in your source folder next we're going to import first of all create and import our css into a html file for this we're going to go here where our two folders are so in the main folder create a new folder we're going to call it dist this is the distribution folder so for those of you who are working in react you already know what i'm talking about but also for you who are creating regular html css and javascript web pages this is the folder that you're going to then push to a service like for example any kind of hosting platform like uh, hosting or something like that so we created our distribution folder create a new file call it index.html it's save create a boilerplate shift exclamation mark this is just get you started with a boilerplate and before the title you can now link up your css file now the css file that you're going to link up will be actually a file that is going to be created within the distribution folder so first of all we're going to create it in order to create this file you have to go down to the command line again so let me make this a bit larger and we're going to use this code right here mpx tailwind install this is short for install the dependency and then we're going to tell it that in the source folder will be the input and in the we're going to change this into the distribution folder will be the output so and this is going to be watch console so let's copy copy the code paste it into the terminal and after i hit so once again in tailwind css we're going to look for a file that is in the source folder that's going to be called style so let's go here and change this to style and then in the distribution folder so let's go to the code the second one will be not source but this will be another file called also style.css so this is the correct code now hit enter and this should create now within your distribution file in our css file and if you take a look in your css file now it'll be a complete setup for tailwind now let's hit save here by the way you also need to have the live server extension installed so if you don't have it go to extensions type in live server and there we go this this one right here need to have it installed if you have this installed open this up just click right click here and click open with live server okay we should open up a blank page so let's go to the body in our html let's type in here a h1 with the class of uh with the text of tailwind css let's hit save this is going to be the regular style of your web page and now let's 
go up here above the title link up our css style which is going to be right in here it's called style if you hit save you're going to see this transforming into just a tiny tiny thingy because it doesn't have any style but margins are gone paddings are gone uh it was set now to a default let's take a look in our css file it was set now to a default font size of line height of 1.5 font family ui sans serif and it's basically 16 pixels or something like that now let's go back to tailwind and let's do some changes in order to do some changes we have to type in here class and let's say bg dash and now i'm going to show you something if you go to extensions and type in tailwind you're going to see this extension also it has this uh, check mark on it and it's, this is the in extension from tailwind css which is going to give you intelligence so let's install this okay let's hit here save and after bg we should always see bg and there we go intelligence should always work if not then do a restart so close and open up your it's basically all you're going to see here you start to update let's do a quick update and now we should 100 work so bg dash and you're going to see let's say uh let's do something red hit save you're not going to see anything here because you need now to again initiate the last command so do a one arrow up in your command line this will reload the last command that you did which should be mpx tailwind css dash i dot blah 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 bam exact, exactly the same thing so if you hit enter it's going to restart that server see here and now you should see also you're going to restart it from here live server right clicks uh open with live server many documents opened here let's do here a, a text now in order for this to automatically update you have to stop the server now you go you're going to go down into your terminal hold down control and c and then yes also on the mac you just hold con control and c or command and c is going to stop your server now we're going to do something in order for the server to constantly watch our web page so we're going to create here in our package.json open this up package.json as i said we're going to return here to the script now i'm going to close up the left part right after the script i'm going to type in here a comma go down then within quotation marks because this is json we're going to type in dev basically we're going to create a development server and between quotation marks we're going to type in now tailwind css then dash i then source src forward slash style dot css dash o base distribution dist forward slash style dot css base dash dash and then watch hit save now go down to your terminal and type in npm run and dev and with your development server now running you should be able to see all of the changes but one last thing in the configuration because this is not react go back, go back to tailwind.config and here just delete this forward slash and two stars and hit save again and change this source into this so run the development server so npm run dev is going to start the development server and then we need to now let's start our server again so npm run dev and the server should be up and running so any changes i do now to my css it should automatically take place for example text say let's change the text size hit save and it change the tail to a larger size also let's change the color let's see text and scroll down it's to a gray color 100 and there we go so easy as that you have tailwind css up and running and you can now start designing so hope you enjoyed it if you did give this video a like if you want to learn more web development then subscribe to the channel and with this being said happy coding catch you next time Bye bye